Vlog live coming to you from the Merv Griffin State. I don't know if you guys know who Merv Griffin is. I didn't. I had to Google him and had to find out who he was. He turned to be a pretty amazing person. So, what is the difference between passion and purpose? What's the difference between passion and purpose? So, I'm here in uh, La Quinta. California, staying at the Merv Griffin State. It's a retreat from some friends of ours. And we talked about today about purpose. We talked about passion. We talked about the patterns that as human beings we go through in life. And some of those patterns are unconscious patterns. I want to say a shout out to my boy, Raul Alejandro. See you, baby. It's my son. I miss you too, baby. I miss you too. So, the patterns that we go through in life is that we try to we try to push down our passion. We try to repress our passion because somewhere on the line, as we grow up, you know, it's not popular to be passionate. It's not popular to be outspoken. It's not popular to be out of hand. Like if you grew up in a household that they didn't want you to be loud on the table. They didn't, they didn't want you to speak up. You were punished for speaking up. You were punished for being passionate. So those are some of the unconscious patterns that we have in our lives. And as we grow older and we grow up, that starts to reflect in the way that you, we do business. Starts to reflect in the way that we have relationships. Starts to reflect in the way that we treat others. That we suppress our passion. And that's the reason I teach my kids to feel all the emotions. Like, I don't want them to, I don't want them to feel that I'm repressing them of, of anything. I want them to feel the emotion. So, passion is an emotion that we all have as human beings. Passion is an emotion that we all have. And, and you, you can see in the kids, the kids are passionate, man. They're passionate about anything. They're passionate and living in the moment. They're passionate when they play with their friends. They're passionate when they ask you for stuff. They're passionate when they're arguing. Kids have no problem being passionate. So what happens as adults that we start losing that passion? See, that's when purpose comes in and we start questioning what, what's our purpose in life. And we get a job and we, we have a career or we develop certain habits and skills. And we feel that our purpose is to make money. We feel that our purpose is to, to become somebody. I love what my son just said right now. If you look at the bottom of the comments, it says, kids don't think. It's, and my son is 10 years old. You're right. Because adults think too much. Adults think way too much. So the moment that we as adults, we start thinking way too much, we start losing that, that passion inside of us. And that's right. That's what purpose, the purpose of that, that we, we think as adults is, is to find a, a career, to, to be able to become somebody. And as we're becoming somebody, we start losing the passion. We start losing the passion. So here's what I want you to consider. I want you to consider that purpose and passion sometimes are taken out of context. We get confused of what real purpose is or what passion is. Because I'm sitting here in this beautiful stage, and if you want to Google who Mel Griffin is, Mel Griffin is the guy who created Jeopardy. He was the one who created Jeopardy. He created the Wheel of Fortune. It was before my times. He used to be in TV from 1965 to, I think, 1985. So Mel Griffin, he built a billion dollar empire fueled by his passion and his purpose. It was fueled by his passion and his purpose. See, passion, passion is that emotion inside of you. Passion lives in your heart. Passion is something that we all have and we just, sometimes we forget that we have and we forget that it's accessible to us because we've been conditioned so much to be quiet, we've been conditioned too much to think about shit, we've been conditioned too much just to play small. And purpose, purpose is the drive, purpose is the vehicle. Purpose is not just about how do I make ends meet or purpose is not just about how to become somebody. Purpose is not about just how to advance in my career. Purpose is the meaning for you to actually use your passion. So the reason that some people get confused between passion and purpose and get confused about their purpose because they, 
they have in their mind this belief that their purpose has to be big, otherwise it doesn't mean anything. But their purpose has to touch millions of people, otherwise it doesn't count. And so this, here's what I tell my team and my employees, like, my first job was delivering newspapers. And I was passionate, man. I love delivering newspapers, and I was passionate wrapping those newspapers, especially on a Sunday. I don't know if you ever delivered newspapers on a Sunday. There's big-ass bundles that we used to have. And we used to have to wrap all those bundles, put them in a bag, and then deliver them. I'm not talking, I didn't have a paper route. I used to go out with my uncle. We had multiple paper routes. This is like waking up at 3 in the morning, picking up hundreds of newspapers, and driving around, and I was the guy who would just throw the newspaper out of the car. This was a, my, that was my uncle's job. I didn't have a newspaper route that it was nice and convenient. I woke up about three in the morning with my uncle, and we did it for about six months, delivering newspapers. But that was the purpose at that moment. That was the purpose, and the purpose for me was to become good at enjoying and fulfilling my duty at that moment. And because I was able to master that, I was able to figure out that shit, that's not what I want to do for my career. My uncle was a grown-ass man delivering newspapers, and I said, I need to go to school <laughs> so I can get educated, so I don't have to do this when I'm a grown-ass man delivering newspapers at 3 in the morning because I like to sleep. So then that passion that I had, passion for sleeping, drove me to actually pay attention in school. And what happened in school is that I started to develop a different passion, passion for girls, passion to become popular. And I started neglecting school because I thought, let me...